today we're going to talk about the static block. So here we have a normal class, a constructor, a normal method and a static method. Now, if we create an object of this class, of course, you would expect for the code in the constructor to run. Also, if we try to access our method, the code in the method should also run. Now, we can also call the static method. So let's see what the static block does. To call our static block, this is what we do. Now, the static block will be called only once. Once there is a new object for this class. Even if you have multiple objects. So for example, let's create this new object. You can see the static block is called first before the constructor. Even if we have two objects, the static block will be called only once for the first object that was created. Another way the static block can be called is if you try to access any static member of that class. In this case, the hey method was a static method. But also, as before, the static block will be run only once. 